<clears throat> hey guys, today I am doing a review of Batman Arkham City Mr. Freeze. Now, um, I actually picked up this figure today and just thought I'd do a review of it, and I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. Well, let's get onto the box straight away instead of me talking all the time. So let's go. Now, this at the start, basically, you're just going to see a lovely picture of Mr. Freeze himself. Lovely picture. And a nice picture of his head. It's a nice head. And then you move on to the back. We are Mr. Freeze and his bio. Welcome to read that if you want. Pause it or something. And then you've got also available Killer Croc. And coming soon, Titan Joker that I will be getting. So I can complete my collection of the deluxe figures. Then another picture of um, the boy, um, Mr. Freeze. And there's his height and all of that. And down there, his creator and sculpt, sculptor. And right on the front is him. Oh, he's missing. And there's Mr. Freeze. So, yeah, it's a really cool box. He's actually displayed with my um, croc at the moment. So, the box and Mr. Freeze. So, here is Mr. Freeze. Now, an absolute superb figure, to be honest. It is just superb. The amount of detail on this figure, pe like people saying, it's they think it's not as good, not worth as much as a as um, Killer Croc and Titan Joker would be. But you can just see how cool that looks. Cool. See what I did there? Okay, whatever. Um, this cool. The detail on that is beautiful. Look at that. It's lovely. All the way down. And as you can see, I've got his stand on at the moment. So if I just set up the camera, because at the moment it's not really set up. Okay. So let's get on to the figure. So, beautiful face. Um, I've already put this plate in, because I've put the head how I want it, and it's kind of going off to the side, because his gun is in this hand, and when you face up the gun, he'll be looking down like that. So, I've kind of thought about it. It didn't take me long to think about it, because I kind of knew already how I wanted it. And I thought that looked cool in my mind. I think that looks very cool. Him just pointing the gun with his head turned that way. So like I said, that's what I thought. People, you may want to change the way you, the head looks for you, but I'm keeping mine like this. Plus, it's a very cool design and everything. I just love the head. It just works very well. But it is on a ball joint, so if you, you're free to pose it how you want. So go on to the articulation. So first of all, he has got a ball jointer there, and you can move very freely, so move very nice. Um, sorry I can't show you because I've already put the plate on, but it can move very nicely. The arms go up that far, bend at the elbow, and I'm afraid that's it. And swivel, and basically do that. So that's um, that's it, but it's, it's, I, it's understandable, to be honest. Same with this arm. The gun's in this arm, though, so... You can't take the gun out. It was actually quite re reasonably hard to get into his hand. Anyway, back to this guy. Um, he doesn't have no waist articulation. His legs go up this far. And backwards that far. So backwards is more for some reason. It's a bit weird. He bends at one point of the knee, but like that. And the feet are on a swivel. So yeah, it's a very, very nice figure. Okay. Very, very nice. If you look on the uh, top of the head, there's these uh, like um, circles. And they're very nice detail as well. you got the nice little tubes with ice in them. The cool pack. And all these little rivety bits here. The ice butt and the nice, nice leather bit here. Whatever this is. Really cool. Nice boots. they got like stud things on them. So, like, proper Iceman would have. But I have to say that the detail on this is superb. I mean, the chest, look at that. You can see the little... Have I got to focus right? Oh, that's just made it worse. Sorry, guys. Anyway, this lovely, lovely, lovely jubbly. And the head is brilliant. You, can, you can't see that very well, but it's a very, like... It's just a very nice head altogether, first. I'm trying to. I don't know what I'm trying to do. But yeah, but you can get him into some okay poses. I mean, you can get. Oh, I've got him into a, like a walking pose. 
that was hard for me to do, but I did get him into one. Uh, I'll just put him on the stand and show you quickly. Uh, there. Um, as my like walking pose, like half walking. Anyway, enough of me trying to pose my figures, but yeah, I just really think that it's a beautiful figure. I mean, just lovely. Now I'll get on to the uh, part where I show you the size comparisons. Now, the first size comparison that I'm going to show you is Killer Croc, as he is. Now, you're going to notice one thing. His arm is bigger than his body. Okay, so it's Killer Croc, and there. So, the size comparison, they both come in the same box. See, the big box can fit Killer Croc in it. Yeah. Now I've only got one other Batman figure that I can size comparison with you, and that is Riddler. So Riddler's a little smaller than Mr. Freeze, not much more smaller, but yeah. So guys, I recommend you pick Mr. Freeze up, I recommend you pick Riddler, I recommend you pick Killer Croc, I recommend you pick all three of those up, and I recommend you pick all of them up, all of the new ones, and Titan Joker. Titan Joker is probably the main one I think you guys should get. But yeah. So thanks for watching my little review of uh, Freeze, guys. And thanks for watching. I'll be up to date with more reviews in the future. Bye.